Here's a problem from R. We're looking for a, a confidence interval, a 99% confidence interval in this case, for the mean of the gross in, uh, earnings from a Rolling Stones concert. Now here are the things that, here's the theory that we need to understand to work this problem. If we had a population that was normally distributed with a mean and a standard deviation, in our case, we're saying that we know that the mean uh, of this is $2.82 million. 2.82. And in our case, we're saying that we know that the standard deviation of the gross in earnings is 0 0.54. Then if we looked at all possible samples of size n, now in our case, the n is 30. That's a fairly large number. If, if this is normally distributed and we know this standard deviation, then over here, the mean of all of the samples of size 30, see the mean of the samples is going to be the same as the mean that we had back here. So it's going to be a 2.82. 2.82. And the standard deviation over here is going to be the standard deviation of the population divided by the square root of n. So the standard deviation of the distribution of all sample means is going to be the 0 0.54 divided by the square root of uh, 30. Great. All right, now, because we're looking for a confidence interval, we're looking for a 99% confidence interval. So here's what we're looking for. We want to, to find this value right here and this value right here so that 99% of the population is in between those two. So we want this to be a... Uh, uh, 0 0.95. I, I'm sorry, a 0 0.99. 0 0.99 is what that's supposed to be reading. Okay, so the way that we'll do that is come down to a standard normal distribution where the mean is 0 and the standard deviation is 1. So we'll be counting the number of standard deviations that we need and we'll just come down here and make sure that we've got 99% between here and we'll want to find this distance or in other words this value which will be sometimes called big E, the standard error, uh, so that 99% will be between here. That, that E and a minus E will because this is, is centered at 0, it's standard deviation of 1, then E and minus E will be the same thing. So we just need to find that particular value. Now, since we're looking for a 99% confidence interval, that means that 1% has to be out here and out here. Okay, 1% has to be in the combination of here and here. So half of 1% will be in each place. So this amount here will be a 0, 0, 0.005. That means that this area to the left of that, all the way back here, that whole area, is going to be a 0.99. So R will be able to easily find that number just by using the quartile function. The quartile function says this. It says if we look at the, the quartile of the normal distribution and we know the probability is 0.9 9, 5, we want the quartile 
where 99.5% 9, of the population is below that amount. So we'll just have to write in a, a, a mean equals to 0 and a standard deviation equals to 1. That will find that E for me. All right, so I use those calculations to do the following. I think I've already done that in R right here. Okay, there's the the 2.8. That's that's the mean. Uh, minus the Q norm of 0.995 with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. That tells me this value times the number of standard deviations that I have up here. That's this amount. That's going to tell me the lower bound. The mean plus that E times the, the uh, standard deviation of the distribution of sample means tells me the upper bounds. So that's where I'm getting these two numbers from. Okay, hope that helps.